So what is PRP? PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Now our blood consists of a liquid element called plasma and the rest is cells and proteins and other nutrients. So the plasma contains certain things called growth factors. Now these growth factors stimulate um, the tissue in our bodies and it helps healing and also helps with settling inflammation that you see around the hair follicle when people are losing hair. So that's why the the theory behind the PRP is there. The problem is that in practice you have to do two things. You have to first activate the platelets. The, the, the platelet growth factors and the platelets have to be activated and for that uh, you need certain chemicals like calcium chloride and lots of centers don't actually do the activation process so the injections that they do are not very effective. The second thing is the results have not been very good. I mean, initially there was a lot of uh, speculation that there may be benefits from PRP, but the results overall have been very poor and you have to do it at least three to five times a year in the first year and then every year you have to repeat it. And actually you can get better results with topical finasteride. Now topical finasteride is the latest medicine to control hair fall and to cause hair thickness on hair regrowth and that you just apply every morning just a little liquid to your head and it will do amazing things compared to PRP where you have to inject maybe 100 200 times into your scalp uh, per session so uh, it's quite painful also so it's better to use topical finasteride this is what we advise everyone and to avoid PRP but if you want thick hair where you are bald then you must do a transplant and if you're doing a transplant ask for Sophia. Sophia is the best technology in the world if you need advice from us, you can feel free to WhatsApp us uh, or Viber or Emo. Uh, our number is Nord 76 As well in Sri Lanka, you have to put plus 94.